So when you shoot low light, you might end up having a lot of noise in your footage. In this video, I will be doing a bit of research so that you don't need to. I'll be comparing a few of the most popular paid options for doing noise reduction for video. And uh, the results are quite surprising. So in this video, first I will be comparing these different softwares and in the end we'll do by kind of, kind of like side by side comparison and seeing I will give my opinion which one is the best software for, for you to buy. And then I will give you some professional advice on how you can color grade your noisy footage as well. So let's start with the comparison and here we are in DaVinci Resolve and let's take a look at the original footage. So this is the footage that's out of my camera and we'll be doing some noise reduction on this. So this is our baseline, so at least our noise reduction software should be better than this. So our first competitor is Red Giant's Denoiser 3. And this is uh, a part of the Red Giant's universe suit and this costs about 18 euros, I don't know how much that's in, uh, in uh, dollars, but 18 euros per month. So it's not the cheapest version. And it's relatively fast. And let's look at the, uh, the quality of this uh, first, um, first um, uh, noise reduction software. First of all, I'm, using, I'm, I'm shooting in log and I want to do my noise reduction in log. And it's very important that the quality of the footage stays good even though the end result that comes out of the software is still log. And that means that, for example, the, the, the bit depth needs to stay high and the, that's the first thing that this software fails at. You can see this gradient from the dark blue in the sky into this red in the horizon. And you can see that there's a lot of extra, like new banding in this. So this software didn't do a good job of preserving the kind of fidelity of this gradient. Then the next one, next uh, comparison, like next thing that I want to look at is the how well is it preserving or um, like how well it is with detail. And here looking at this, uh, like the shirt, it's definitely better than the original, but I would say that the quality is not so good. It's still there. There's still a lot of noise there. So I'm not really convinced with this uh, amount of detail. Then the third thing that um, I want to look in in these softwares is how good is the software of reducing noise when there's a lot of movement. And I would say that this denoiser tree uh, was relatively good at denoising uh, footage that has movement in it. Comparing to other softwares, uh, this actually preserve quite good like detail in a moving image. And uh, I would say that this is um, relatively okay uh, as a uh, uh, denoiser. It was quite fast and uh, easy to use, so it's like, quite okay. Then our next competitor, and this was actually uh, going into this test, I was really optimistic about this. This is Tobas Video Enhanced AI. So this is a software that actually can do so much more than just noise reduction. Uh, and this is uh, relatively expensive. It's 300 uh, US dollars, uh, 299. And I was really looking, uh, really hoping this would be like a magical uh, solution for noise reduction, especially in this kind of extreme case. Uh, this is relatively slow. Just this 10 second clip took on my relatively old, like few years old MacBook Pro, it took one and a half hours to render this 10 second clip. So it was kind of a disappointment. And another thing as a disappointment is that the fidelity of this gradient, by the way, don't worry, there's this uh, uh, like watermark. If you actually buy the software, you don't have this logo on your footage, but I'm using a trial version, so that's why I have this watermark. The gradient in the sky didn't really, like the fidelity of the gradient didn't, uh, like it wasn't preserved well. And then looking at these uh, details, I was really hoping that this AI based software would have like br brought up much more uh, uh, like detail in the shirt and it well it wasn't it was okay it did an okay job but not really good one and another thing here you can see in the sky you can see this gradient it's really broken like there's a lot of macro blocking so this unfortunately this AI uh, AI based solution wasn't really good and here even in this movement case when there's this a uh, movement uh, panning 
it didn't really do a good job of reducing noise. So I was kind of like, yeah, AI, maybe it's not always better. Then let's go to the next one. Uh, this one is actually an, as well an AI based solution. And this is a bit special because this is not actually a software that you install on your computer. This is an online service. So you upload your footage uh, to the cloud and you process it there and then you download it back to your uh, computer. And looking at this, I would say the gradients were like really good. Like the gradient stays very, the fidelity of the gradient stays really good. But then this software really falls flat on its face when it comes to detail, like the quality of the the detail here is like, okay, it's it's a bit better than the original, but, oh wait, where is, there it is. But it's really, there. there's a lot of flickering and a, a lot of color shifts and a lot of macro blocking. So um, this AI based solution and even the movement clip, the movement clip, there's a lot of color change. It, it changed the color as well quite, uh, quite drastically. But unfortunately, this solution didn't impress me that much either. So we have two AI-based noise reduction solutions, which neither really delivered on their promises. Then our next competitor is like the old, like the all-time favorite, Neat Video. This is a uh, um, a relatively cheap. This is actually the uh, potentially the cheapest one of uh, our uh, list for if you're going to do a lot of noise reduction. Uh, this was 66 uh, euros to get a, like a one-time uh, purchase to get the software. And uh, this is relatively fast. And looking at the sky gradient, it's not the best, but it's okay. There's a bit of extra banding in the uh, sky gradient, but I would say the sky gradient is quite good. And this is where this software really shines, is the, the detail like the, how much detail it brought back from uh, underneath the noise is amazing. Like the detail in this shirt is so like, it's really, it's really good. You can like even see like the individual loops of this fabric comparing to the original. Like here, you don't even see, like what's happening. You don't even see the Like you don't even see the texture of the, uh, the fabric, but it, with this software, you can almost like see that, like the fine knitting of the shirt. So I was really impressed with this uh, quality. And um, uh, this is actually uh, uh, relatively fast. And there's even new version that I haven't really bought. I haven't really yet got, and it's supposed to be even faster. So I'm really uh, like impressed with this, uh, this neat video uh, software. So much better than the AI solutions. And then uh, the last competitor is the native noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve. And this is um, kind of expensive because this is only available in the DaVinci Resolve Studio version. And the Studio version costs 299 uh, US dollars. But you might already have this software, especially if you have any of the Blackmagic cameras, because this comes uh, free uh, part, as a part of, if you buy a Blackmagic camera, you get this software for free. And uh, then this ha software has so much like uh, capabilities. I really recommend getting the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And when we look at this noise reduction done on DaVinci Resolve, it's almost as good as the neat video. In some parts, it's even better. For example, here, the sky gradient, in my opinion, is a bit better than neat videos uh, sky gradient. And the detail, the detail comparison, is almost as good as neat video. Like the neat video, you can like just take a look at this. This like you can really see the like the uh, the the fabrics like individual loops of the fabric. In DaVinci Resolve, no, you cannot see it, but it's almost as good. But uh, in when there's like movement in the footage, like here, like there's this panning in the clip, the results are not as good as uh, neat video. But uh, but I'm saying that this neat video and DaVinci Resolve compared, uh, like uh, comparing them each uh, by side by side, they're quite close. So if you have DaVinci Resolve Studio version, I don't think it's worth uh, the price to get neat video. But neat video is like just it's just so good. It's really good, at least for this kind of a low light uh, situation.
So um, let's uh, let me show you the comparisons. Here are all the different versions uh, of the different softwares, and then you can do your own um, like you can have your own opinion, of course. But in my opinion, I still think that the Neat Video is uh, the best noise reduction software. It uh, preserved the gradients relatively good. It brought up the detail in our uh, footage really well, and it even worked quite well in foot, uh, on footage that there was a lot of movement in. So um, that's my opinion about the best software. And now let me give you a few uh, professional advice on how to grade your low light footage. And if you're interested to learn more about color grading, underneath this video uh, in the description, there's a link to my free training where I show you how you can use the same part, same system as they use in Hollywood and Netflix to color grade your footage as well. And I'll show you how you can match your footage to any movie reference. And using the system that they use in Hollywood and Netflix, you can color grade uh, and color correct your footage like you would have shot it in RAW even if your camera doesn't shoot raw footage. So check that uh, that link out, it's in the description. And at the end of this video, I'll uh, give you the link somewhere floating around my head as well. So go and check that out. But now let me give you a few um, good advice on how to work with uh, low light footage. So first of all, let's, let's look at our node, node tree. Uh, this is our node uh, noise reduction node. So we're using DaVinci Resolve's uh, temporal noise reduction, spatial noise reduction, and we're using like high, quite high numbers uh, to reduce noise. And uh, these are, you can play around with these, but in this case, these were the best uh, numbers for this. Then um, I'm using a bit of a, like, I'm not going to tell you how this is done, but I'm, I'm using a bit of a, like a, this advanced color grading technique that I'm uh, shifting my colors. Let's actually turn all of these off. And let's uh, turn the noise reduction off for now, because the noise reduction is really slow. So this is our original footage. And the first thing that I do is that I push my footage into a new color space called ACCCT. I'll talk about this more in the training, in the free training underneath this video, in the description and at the end of the video. I'll push my footage into ACCCT. And from ACCCT, I push it to Rec. 709. And this is our like log footage uh, pushed from log to Rec. 709. And then I'll start working with this. The first thing is I'll work with exposure. And when you work in SSCT, this exposure works really well. You'll learn more about that in the training underneath. Then uh, I did a bit of white balance. And when you work in SSCT, uh, you can actually work your white balance like you would have shot your footage in RAW. That's, uh, that's, there's more information in the training about this. Then this node, I am uh, lifting the shadows up with a technique called uh, HDR tone mapping. And this is basically a mask that is targeting the shadow areas and is lifting those up. So we see more detail in the shadows. Then I'm uh, working with the highlights as well, giving them a bit more pop uh, in the highlights. And this is done with a mask that targets only the highlight areas. And the thing that I'm doing, I'm just adding this kind of a curve to bring more contrast and more saturation into the highlights. Then I have a bit of an, uh, like a film emulation. I'll talk about these in the training as well. And then I'm working with some contrast. And now it's really important that when we look into this uh, footage, uh, the shadows are really dark. They're really, really dark, but there's a lot of detail and a lot of like texture and like details that are uh, visible because we use the HDR tone mapping technique. So without the HDR tone mapping, the shadows are totally dark and just black. But with the HDR tone mapping, we are lifting details. We're still keeping our shadows dark, but we're lifting details there. So then our footage uh, looks uh, like it still looks dark, but you can still kind of see into the shadows. And when we do noise reduction, the shadow, when we lift shadows up, those look actually quite good still. Like we can lift, when you do noise reduction into your shadows, you can still lift details up there. And then a bit of a trick is that uh, in, in the end of our no, uh, node tree, I often like to add a bit of film grain. So if there's any noise uh, hidden, like any noise left in our footage, when we add a bit of noise, like cinematic noise uh, film grain, it will uh, help to hide the rest of the, um, rest of the, 
uh, noise in your footage. So that's my um, way of uh, working. Like those, those are my tips for working with uh, um, low light footage for, for grading. And if you want to learn more about how to color grade uh, with the same system as to use in Hollywood and Netflix, in the description, there's a link to my free training and there's a, actually a link floating around my head here as well. So um, I guess that's it. My uh, summary is that Neat Video was the best software, but DaVinci Resolve's native noise reduction uh, tools came very close, so it might not be worth the, uh, paying for the uh, upgrade if you already have DaVinci Resolve Studio. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I didn't really plan this end, how to end this video, but I guess this is the end of the video. Yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.